you're wondering why Daryl Alston is looking up these days, just look down. We want our shoes to be the conversation piece. So if you're not interested in the extra attention, this brand isn't for you. I got this store now, I want to get 20 more, you know? Check them out. Alston is the CEO and creative lead of Bungie Oblicheni. We did the Python in the back. A high-end shoe designer bursting into the Philadelphia sneakerhead scene last year. They're made flashy to create buzz and draw attention. And this is one of my favorites too. But the original purpose was just to give Daryl his great escape from prison. I have over 250 designs. All while you're in prison. All while I was in prison. That creativity was always in him, but his first passion was music. Before jail, Alston was a fairly successful rapper, opening shows for headliners like Lil' Kim and LL Cool J. But he says the business was tough, and keeping up with the lifestyle was even harder. So to make a little money on the side, he sold drugs and got caught. The last vision that my grandparents have of me is me getting beat up by the police and getting sent to jail. His grandfather died while he was behind bars. I, I just remember breaking down immediately. You actually thought about suicide? Yes, definitely, a couple of times. Instead, he poured everything into his art. My mom, she was like, look, you know, I don't know how you're gonna survive if you don't create your own business. And immediately the light bulb went off. Alston used connections as a barber to hustle his shoes, but it wasn't until a chance encounter with boxing legend Bernard Hopkins that things really took off. I wasn't a fan of his first sneaks, but... Wait, 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 what was your reaction when you saw him? You think I'm aware of this? What? But the two bonded over a shared history and the same drive. It turns out both men were locked up in the same prison years apart. What about his story are you inspired by? that he didn't get talked out of his dreams. Everybody got all the dreams when you're in there, but what do you do when you get out? I just wanna thank everybody for coming out. Today, Daryl is living his dream. His goal now, to do what his mentor did for him. I wanna be able to help other people like me that are either incarcerated or that just needs help to be able to create a business. A mission of redemption from the soul of a man who's reminded of just how far determination travels every time he takes another step. For today, Steve Patterson, NBC News, Philadelphia. Man, Daryl Alston, what an experience he's having in life and what a difference he's making. I love that advice where he basically says no one talked him out of his dreams. And talk about turning tragedy into triumph. And then, of course, with a cameo from Bernard Hopkins. Incredible. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.